Whenever you give someone notes, the more clear, specific, and concise you are, the greater your results will be. And this is especially true with artificial intelligence, right? Because when we work with AI, we have to give specific inputs, right? It's almost like learning language in that sense. And the more clear you are, the more desirable outcomes you will receive. And there was a very interesting post that I saw from Anonymous on Twitter. Now, his, his, that's his like quote unquote name, but his uh, Twitter handle is actually at the, at the mouse crypto. And I've linked to the actual tweet itself. But one of the interesting things that he makes, this is specifically geared towards filmmakers, but the idea is applicable to anyone, is that when you're trying to generate an image in mid-journey, if you reference a specific filmmaker, you will start to get a very specific sort of look, right? So if you're going for a genre uh, film, you know, that's let's say horror, well then going along with like John Carpenter gives you a specific look, right? If you're going for fantasy, then maybe referencing Peter Jackson or Guillermo del Toro uh, will help that, right? And he has a great list of other stuff like action, you know, he cites James Cameron and Terminator and so forth, right? So what I'm gonna do right now is kind of put this, not necessarily to the test, but provide you with what this means in practice, right? So we're gonna go ahead and use mid journey. So I'm gonna type in uh, imagine prompt and let's say a young adult woman seeing a magical portal to a different world, right? So we're not gonna give it anything beyond that. And let's just see what this generates on its own, right? And the the results probably be very different, um, but let's see. Okay, so there we go. We've got quite a variety to choose from, right? And we can kind of then decide which variations we wanna go pursue. But the whole idea is if we have something specific in mind, right? Then we can start to dictate that based on our prompts. So I'm gonna do the same thing again a young adult woman seeing a magical portal to a different world as a scene in a Peter Jackson fantasy movie akin to Lord of the Rings. All right, so that's pretty specific. And certainly I can go more with it, right? Um, you know, you can add commas and give almost like key phrases to drive it even further, but let's see what result we get just based on this distinction, right? Okay, so there we go. As we compare these two, right? The universe outside, you know, the, the different world itself is a lot more naturalistic, right? We've got you know, trees and forests and mountains um, and so forth. And even the portal itself, there's distinctions, right? It's kind of like a wooden texture, almost like a hobbit's hole, if you will. Uh, we can see kind of the, the steps there are a little bit, a, a little bit more elegant, let's say. And there's a bit of a warmth to it, right? So already we're seeing certain distinctions. Now let's try, you know, let's try, let's try comedy and see what that spits up, right? So imagine prompt, uh, young adult woman seeing a magical portal to a different world as a scene in a Charlie Chap. You know what? Let's go Marx Brothers in a, Marx Brothers comedy movie. This will be an interesting result, probably. Let's let's see what uh, comes up. By the way, if you're not familiar with the Marx Brothers, they're amazing comedians. You know, uh, from like the '30s. Uh, one of my favorite movies: Room Service, Duck Soup. 
and plenty of uh, Night at the Opera. So many wonderful, wonderful films that, you know, for, for me, even now, hold up, right? Um, some people compare them to the Stooges. The Stooges were a little bit more comedy-based, like physical gags and stuff like that, where it, uh, the Marx Brothers were more intelligent-based humor, let's, let's say. Okay, so that gave us uh, kind of a very interesting result, right? So now, just for fun, I'm gonna do a third and final one just to kind of drive home the idea, right? So same thing, imagine prompt, and we're gonna go a young adult woman seeing a magical portal to a different world as a scene in uh, Sergio Leone. Uh, Western. And let's see what it comes back with. Okay, there we go. So another wildly different result based on just the same prompt, but a different, you know, categorization or specificity of, you know, what we're looking for, right? So we went from, you know, now we're at a Western, before that it was comedy, uh, fantasy, and so forth, right? So. The more specific you are with the type of reference that you want, then the the more desired of an outcome you get in mid-journey. So I hope this little mini tutorial slash insight helps you as you create both in mid-journey, but also just in general, right? Because the same principle applies to many, many things.